The bromance that seems to be becoming stronger between Prince Harry and Nacho Figueres, the affluent, attractive, and powerful David Beckham of Polo, is strong. There have been three fairly public expressions of devotion in the last week alone. In one, Meghan Markle, the wife of Harry, handed Delphina Blackear, Nacho's socialite wife, a jar of strawberry jam, the first offering from her much-anticipated lifestyle business, American Riviera Orchard. Model, photographer, and polo player Delphina shared a snapshot of her 1050 jar on Instagram along with the caption, Strawberry jam makes me happy. Additionally, at American Riviera Orchard, I adore your jam. Subsequently, the two spouses made appearances at two celebrity polo tournaments in Florida, with one of them serving as a fundraiser for Prince's Centibale organization. Meghan gave a kiss to Nacho, shook hands with his daughter Alba, and gave a passionate hug to Delfina, her sister and polo wife, next to the polo field. Less showy Harry strolled pink-cheeked in step behind his attractive instructor, Nacho, who travels the world and may be the only real friend Harry has. Nacho looked effortlessly casual in pants and bare feet. Less so, Harry. Back in 2007, when Prince Harry and Prince Ciso of Lesotho created the charity Centibale, it was Nacho who initially introduced Harry to the sportsman when he consented to participate in a match for the organization's benefit. Harry was on his first official journey overseas, visiting New York at the age of 24, when he was training to become a helicopter pilot. At the cup presentation ceremony, he made some fairly childish attempts at friendliness with Nacho, sprinkling champagne in his face. Though Nacho didn't appear overly amused by the practical joke, they continued to communicate and play polo together. Two years later, Nacho declared, well, I don't call him every morning to ask him what he had for breakfast, but yes, we have a relationship. By 2017, Harry and Nacho had gotten along well enough for Harry to tell him about his new friend, American TV actress Meghan Markle. Harry said to him, we've just met, but I think this might be the one. It was immediately apparent that those were the eyes of a person who had fallen in love, Nacho remarked. Later, he told People magazine that he had first-hand knowledge of Harry's desire to have a child and that the prince had discovered an amazing partner in Meghan. Unlike the Beckhams, Nacho and his spouse Delfina were allowed to attend the evening reception at the 2018 royal wedding at Windsor. Nacho called the pair heroes on Ellen DeGeneres' chat program the next year. Harry and Meghan spent more time together after moving to California. Harry began playing polo for Santa Barbara's Los Padres, Nacho's squad. It means they really bonded more than we've ever bonded before, said Nacho. It was a dream come true for me, and maybe for him too, to be able to play with him for two months in a real competition with the Los Padres team, he stated. On and off the field, we had plenty of opportunities to spend time with our family. Being on his squad is an honor. Naturally, by this point, Harry's relationship with Prince William, his elder brother, had soured. Harry and Nacho took a private plane to Singapore in August 2023 to play a charity polo tournament while joking about, trying on sunglasses, and enjoying themselves. I think Harry considers Nacho more like a brother than a good friend, says Richard Miniards, a journalist from Montecito, especially considering the rift with the Prince of Wales. Miniards continues, Nacho's unwavering optimism about Harry is a plus. Nacho frequently discusses their relationship and how great Harry and his intentions are in public. In fact, you might argue that Nacho's patronage played a major role in Harry and Meghan's lives in California. For example, it was him who introduced Ellen DeGeneres to Harry and Meghan. The former talk show presenter is still the couple's primary celebrity contact, and she hasn't wavered in her endorsement of them. Ellen then connected the Sussexes to her finance guy, Adam Lilling, who helped Meghan make her first investment in Clever Blends drinks. More importantly, though, Harry was introduced to BetterUp, an online startup that provides career and mental health coaching, which led to Harry landing a well-paying job. But in the world of polo, Nacho is seen as royalty, not Harry.
The two men were spotted together this week in Palm Beach, Florida, during a break in production for the Netflix documentary Prince Harry is producing about the sport. The Argentine will play a significant role in the film. Although Harry's contemptuous relationship with the press is a well-known tale, Nacho, 47, enjoys speaking with reporters and has been, admiringly, profiled for many years. His connections to well-known figures, including singer Madonna and artist Jeff Koons, have helped to popularize his cherished sport. This week, he revealed that the purpose of the Netflix documentary is to promote Centibale internationally rather than to study the top sport. He went on to say that he hoped Harry and his kids, Lily and Archie, will soon film with him in Botswana, where the charity operates. He also discussed how important Harry thinks living in Africa is and how eager everyone is to meet the prince's offspring. Who is this pair that Harry and Meghan value so highly? Of course, there are just as many things that separate Harry and Nacho as there are things that bring them together. While Harry, regrettably, passed away at the young age of 39 due to the Windsor male pattern baldness, Nacho, who is 47 years old, is maturing like a great wine. His amazing teeth and hair, his year-round tan, and his chiseled form, which made him a male model when he was 20, are still in high demand. They even outdid the renowned photographer Bruce Weber. He's like a magnificent god, particularly when you see him on the horse, actor Andrew Rannells remarked after watching him compete in the Vuv Clickwatt Polo Classic. How is that a guy, and I'm a man, you ask? How do we belong to the same species? Nacho seems to be capable of everything, he is an accomplished painter and chef as well as a prosperous businessman. It's customary to win, he shrugs. His career has been on an unstoppable upward trajectory, and he seems to have endless resources. He owns a magnificent home in Florida and a large estate in Argentina, both of which have been featured in Architectural Digest. His art collection includes pieces by Jackson Pollock, Andy Warhol, and Basquiat. Harry must hope he could catch a bit of this golden touch. Nacho is the son of Horacio, an agronomist, and Mercedes, his wife. He was born Ignacio Figueres. His great-great-great-grandpa was a close advisor to President Julio Argentino Roca, one of his notable ancestors. Growing up in a close-knit middle-class family on a tiny farm outside of Buenos Aires, Nacho told an interviewer that his devoted father supported his son's polo enthusiasm by spending more than he could afford. Fortuitously, one of his father's closest friends was an avid polo player and had a son who shared his passion for the game. As a result, young Nacho was sent to spend weekends on the family's estate with Lucas Monteverdi Jr., who rose to the elite status of polo players worldwide, known as a 10-goal player. Nacho started out as an 8-goaler but has now dropped to a 6, placing him in the top 100. When Nacho turned professional in 1994 at the age of 17, he moved away from home to play French polo. From Bridgehampton, Connecticut, to Wellington, Florida, and beyond to the Napa Valley, Windsor, Ascot, and beyond, that marked the beginning of an illustrious and prosperous career on the polo circuit. Nacho has said that it's the sexiest sport. I believe there's a certain something about a man riding a horse, he remarked. The helmet, the shirt, the pants, and the boots. You have athletes and guys galloping about on horses in fancy places, these are not short butts, these are beautiful people. It's also a rough sport with lots of speed, adrenaline, and potential danger. All things considered, there's a good reason Ralph Lauren chose the sport to symbolize his brand. He chose one of the most glamorous, seductive, and sophisticated sports available. Another fortunate event occurred in 1999 at a dinner given by Kelly Klein, the designer Calvin Klein's wife at the time, in the Hamptons. She sat him down next to photographer Bruce Weber, who captured every Ralph Lauren advertising campaign. Nacho, a dashing polo player, created a lasting impact in 2000 when he posed for his first Ralph Lauren polo advertisement. For two decades, he was the brand's ambassador. In the beginning, I was getting all this feedback from players saying, what are you doing, he stated in an interview. 
What's this? However, I told myself, this is a fantastic opportunity. This is the ideal link to enable me to realize my goal of making polo a more popular and well-known sport. Thus, I improved as a player and bought better horses with the money I was making from modeling. There are a lot of guys out there with long hair who resemble brunettes like me. Thousands of them. However, I believe the distinction lies in the fact that I am a professional polo player who also does side gigs for Ralph Lauren, and I have always viewed it that way. At this point, he was wed to Delfina, an aristocrat from the upper echelons of Argentine society. Sporty Delfina, with her infinite legs, competed internationally at high jump, her mother was a known beauty and motor racing driver, and her family, who are passionate about polo, own a 30,000-acre estate in the country. Her sport is still polo. Hilario was their son, born when she was only 19 and Nacho was 23. Like his father, Hilario, now 23 years old, plays professional polo. The eldest daughter, Aurora, is a student of industrial design in Buenos Aires, the younger daughter, Alba, is a show jumper and a polo enthusiast, and Artemio, the 14-year-old, is also a polo enthusiast. It's a life of travel. The family keeps about 45 horses on a 30-acre estate outside of General Rodriguez throughout the winter. I spend a few months in Florida and a few more in the Hamptons every year. Nacho's age is the lone cloud in the sky. As a sportsman, he is on borrowed time at 47. In 2013, he collapsed during a game in England and his horse fell on top of him, breaking his hip. He was spared surgery and had to lie motionless for two weeks in the hospital in Chichester, however, he predicted that his career would begin to decline by the time he reached his mid-forties. For this reason, he has been branching out. The Polo Classic, which Nacho started, is an annual event that attracts a star-studded audience to both New York and Los Angeles. In addition, he gave his name to a line of perfumes and a blockbuster romantic book series penned by two female ghosts. Among his many pals are Chris Martin of Coldplay, fashion designer Valentino, Hollywood actress Kate Hudson, hotelier Andre Balish, and renowned artist Julian Schnabel. Not to mention Prince Harry and Meghan, who are arguably his biggest admirers of all. 